Hello fellow makers, Clint with Custom 3D Specialties here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Creality Halo 1 Plus. This was sent to me by Creality for a promotion they got going on uh, for becoming a test reviewer. Uh, you can check out their page, Facebook, I'm sure you'll find it on there. That is at the time of this video. So thank you, Creality. Very happy to test one of these out. So, as Creality always does, they wrap it all in the outside bag so you can grab it up and just pull everything out. Go. Looky there. So we got a few things on top. Looks like we got a white envelope here. And in this envelope we have a spare piece of fab with pre-cut holes. And your leveling card with instructions. Now on the USB stick there's going to be an instruction manual also. Make sure to read that because it does tell you that we have a bag with all the parts and various items. The USB stick manual will tell you that the build plate comes pre-leveled from Creality. Uh, I know this due to having a Hello 1. So we have the quick reference guide here. Uh, just double check real quick. I don't believe it says it in here. Um, no, it does not. So yes, make sure to check out the instruction manual that's on the USB. And then we have our warranty card. We have the USB. We have our funnels for straining. Our cleaning brush for when you're cleaning your prints when they're done. The plastic spatula for cleaning in the vat. The three Allen screws or Allen wrenches, and your quality certification triangle of that Creality Sense with their products. Next, we have oh, very nice build plate or a uh, vat. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't wait to see the build plate. It's got to be a nice, decent size. Uh, build size is going to be 172 by 102 by 160 millimeters. And the resolution is going to be 4,320 by 2,560. Your XY accuracy is going to be 0 0.4 millimeters. Print speed, one to four seconds per layer. Now, when looking at this, I did notice, normally your bat hold down screws are here. They switched it and put them in the corners. That's a very interesting design. Uh, also, this takes 650 milliliters of resin. What else can I tell you about this? It's got a five inch touch screen. Can't wait to see that. Is that all that's in there? Yep. The Hello One Plus does come with the blue cover. I do like that. I do like blue. That is pretty dark. 
that should be very good at blacking out UV light. Make it kind of be interesting to see how the print looks, if you can see well it's printing or not. And then we got everything wrapped in another bag. Again, if you haven't already, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Uh, help me out. And, uh, you know, boost them algorithms a little bit and get notified when I'm doing more videos and content. Might be something you like. We got our vat hold down screws. We have the power cord. Another thing I like about Creality Hello Line is there's no power bricks. Just the power cord. Plug it in and go. Love it. And we have the big spatula for scraping off the build plate. That's all that. Woo, look at that pretty build plate. Again. This is 172 by 102, and the height, and you'll get 160 milli mil ah, millimeters, I'm sorry. So your normal sandblasted plate, like I did mention, this is pre-leveled from Creality. As long as you don't drop it or, you know, rough it up a little too much in your admiring, should be good to go right out the box. Got another protection. Nice, big, beautiful screen. And I believe that is a what size? And that does have the 4K 7.9 inch screen driven by the integral integral light source. So it looks like we have dual linear rails, your lead ball screw, and there's that nice big five inch touch screen. Nice and easy peasy. Plug one. Well, if I had an open plug. Guess we'll disconnect the filament dryer. And plug two. I'm just going to zoom in on this a little bit. Okay, so I'm all set up here for installing my screen protector. So I'm going to take my cover off. And I just cut down a piece of transparency film. To go a little bit over the size of the screen. And then I took and I cut down some 3M Scotch Cal Black 220 uh, pressure sensitive vinyl. Now I got that by taking a piece of paper, putting it over and actually drawing where the screen was and where this little edge here is, which is what this line is. 
and I made my black gasket out of the Scotch Cal 3M 220 a little bigger to match this one so that it covers everything from the screen to the new gasket to outside of the original gasket. So I'm going to grab a lint-free cloth Sure there ain't nothing on it. Spray it with some alcohol. Just give this a nice clean wipe. Now this does have a tempered glass on top of the screen, which is very helpful. But I like to protect that also, because if I don't have to take a razor blade to that, in case of a mishap, all the more better. So just make sure my whole area here is clean. And then I will take and wipe down the, the sheet. Probably not the best thing to do it on over the printer that I just wiped down. Try not to get fingerprints on it. Okay, so after we got that wiped down and dry, wipe this down once more. And then we're gonna wanna line this up. Get it as centered as possible. Grab a little bit of tape. And if you're satisfied with your placement, just tape the front corner a little bit. And tape the other front corner. Then I cut the back of this, so this is where the screen goes, and I put two creases in here, two cuts in. So this is going to allow me to line this up, but not peel off the front layer until after to get the tape off. Now I'm going to cut this down a little bit because I see it's a little long. Again, make sure there's nothing on here. If you see something, now is your only chance to get it out. That looks pretty good. So then I want to line up. Make sure I got my red edge. I want to line this up so that it just comes a little bit over. On each side. And a little bit over. And then check in where your screw holes come up.
Okay. That looks pretty good. Then I'm going to take another piece of tape. I'm going to put that right here in the center. And then grab your ruler and just do a little double check to see if you're even. So I'm roughly one centimeter and roughly one centimeter so I'm pretty squared away with where my film is gonna go I have my transparency cover underneath there and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel the film liner away make sure they have a spatula or something to squish your gasket down and just ever so lightly start applying your gasket and transfer tape onto your machine. Going across nice and evenly. I'm going at a very flat angle on the rounded side as to not poke a hole. Make sure to go around the edge of the screen. And you can see I got the screen lined up just on the inside of that black gasket. Okay. So now we peel off our front layer of blue tape in the center. We peel this flat back. We can remove these two pieces of tape. And then we remove our liner from here. And same thing. You want to work very lightly. So that you don't leave any bubbles.
there we go then you take your hopefully you have an extra flap to remove your tape just make sure to do it very slowly now you can see where the edge of my edge of my film this is the edge of my screen protector layer this is the edge of their Creality's black tape layer and I'm right on the edge of where the screen is Continue pulling slowly and pushing anything back down. there we go I was a little too far forward but I'm still sealed all the way around everything I can take a pin and pop these little holes if I wanted to but I ain't gonna mess with it that's on the outside of the screen so that shouldn't affect my build plate area at all And we now have an installed screen protector. Now I know, if I remember correctly, Bullet Brand is working on a screen protector for the complete hell outline. So make sure to check with them. Uh, when you get your printer, if they have uh, completed the process, are in full production mode or not yet. But until then, you can do something like this to temporarily protect your screen a little bit further. All right, so now that we got our screen protector on, let's go over this a little bit more. So again, we have the build plate, which is 172 by 102 by 160 is our build height. This is the 7.9 inch screen And this is a five inch touch screen. We have our carbon air filtration, which will pull fumes in and exhaust out the back after being cleaned by the fire, uh, carbon filter. Depending on use, uh, it's every three to six months is what I would say uh, you would wanna change that carbon filter. Again, this is the Creality Halote 1 Plus. Uh, so it is in the Halote line, meaning it has the integral light source. We have our 
vat, which does hold 650 milliliters max, and you also have a mark at 450 milliliters and 250 milliliters. This is a little different design. The hold down screws are in the corners as opposed to in the center, uh, which did allow them to basically maximize the amount of screen and minimize the width of the footprint. Um, very interesting design. Uh, we'll take a little bit to get used to on unscrewing from the corners. So what I'm going to do here now, I like to find out what the FEP comes from the factory. And as you can see, as I'm speaking, you get this little yellow bar that's going around. That is actually recording, well not recording, but displaying the amount of hertz, my voice, or any sound in the room is giving off. So a couple people have did videos on this. Uh, back in the day with the some of the beginning printers Like the any cubic photon and the Elegoo Mars But so basically what you do is you open this app it's called spectrum sound analyzer and I'm just gonna take and put the vat right in front of the microphone of the phone. See, move this all over here. And I'm just gonna take a pencil with a little rubber eraser and I'm just gonna... I ain't even tapping, you know, I'm not putting pressure, I'm not beating it like a drum. Just kinda letting the weight of the pencil just hit. And I'm gonna do that against the FEP. So, you can see it right here. hitting 198 so now next time when I want to change my FEP or it's time for me to change my FEP I know when I reach 198 Hertz that my FEP is tensioned to what it came from from the factory And the other interesting design is kitty corner from your knobs. You have two pore spouts, uh, very interestingly hidden. You really don't even notice that they're pore spouts. Uh, Creality really did maximize the design and minimize the footprint of this machine. So also we do have two linear rails and let's go ahead and turn this on. We'll finish looking at the user interface. And seeing as how I did put a screen protector on, I do need to re-level my plate. Which it should have come from Creality pre-leveled, but you always want to check that with your handy leveling card, which has the instructions on it. So as you see, while it was initializing and starting up, you had Kuva dancing for you. Um, it was just trying to find my Wi-Fi. I have none of that set up or anything yet. So you have main screen, you have your print option, or your print button and you have your settings button. So I, you don't have a USB put in and I'm not using Creality Cloud um, 
or hello box to send the file yet so I'm gonna go to settings so we have our cleaning option and it's gonna ask if I want to confirm whether I want to clean so my screen lit up so that is good means the light is working turn that off would be nice if they did have a timer function to where you didn't have to push the button but or even um, a couple other options in there to test your screen so next we have Wi-Fi so that's going to go ahead and search and pull up all your Wi-Fi accounts in the area. I'm going to go ahead and load mine real quick. Okay, so we are now trying to connect, and we have connected successfully. And my Wi Fi antenna thingy is lit up, and I have a check next to what my Wi Fi is. So let's go back. Okay. Didn't want to take my finger for going back. So now we want to go to Z access movement. <clears throat> so this will be going back to zero or leveling. And we want to level. Going back to zero is just going to raise you up to the top. They have top marked as your zero or your home. So you have three allen screw or allen wrenches that you get this is going to be the bigger allen wrench of the three you're going to loosen up these four bolts up top that are on the sides of the build plate connecting to the sleeve that slides over the arm Make sure that moves freely so you don't crush or damage your screen when coming down. There we go. Nice and loose. And we will hit leveling. And this will take a couple moments to come down. So in that meantime, I will grab my lint-free cloth, some alcohol, Let's give that screen protector a nice little wipe again, make sure nothing's on there. Wipe down the bottom of the build plate, make sure nothing's on there. So Creality's slicing app that they would like you to use is called Hallowbox. Uh, that is on your USB stick. Um, also, you are able to use Lychee. And I believe She2Box. I'm not sure though. Um, I do know uh, Voxel Lab, Tangelo Dance um, software also 
supports the Hello line. Okay, sorry, I was paying attention to this going down, making sure everything was okay. All right. Um, and then also, you can use Creality Cloud from PC or from your phone. And you'll be able to send prints directly to start and also monitor mobily from your phone or tablet and then the last one of course is with using hello box you can send it over Wi-Fi or transfer it onto USB and plug into your USB in the front so now that we are down to zero, my fingers are small enough that I can fit all the way in between without putting a lot of pressure upwards. And I just put a little bit of pressure just to hold everything down. And I just tighten everything up. We'll go kind of snug. And we'll go kind of snug. Let's see. Can anybody tell what I forgot? Because I sure can right now. So let's loosen these back up. Yep. I forgot my leveling card. Happens to the best of us. Okay. So, I'm just going to lift this up. Slide this under. Make sure it's all the way to the back that you're not on top of any of the screws, which your two back screws, the first ones, actually kind of work as your guides to stop it. So there we go. So now we'll make sure I'm down all the way. Re-put pressure, and let's re-snug everything up. Feels good and snug. I have no movement. So now I will go ahead and I will just tighten these up. Let's double check. Okay. And we will hit back to zero. You can pull out the card. And we can't go back while that's going. <clears throat> And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check this once more. So I will hit leveling. And this should come right back down on top of my paper. 
I will keep my finger on the button just in case I hear any weird noise. Well, not on, but ready? Beautiful. Okay, so we'll go back to zero again. Yep, that's what I thought. <clears throat> Not like some where you have to go back out and hit the zero equals button. You're good to go. So go back to zero. I go back home. So our leveling process is complete. I have my custom made screen protector on. Even though there is a tempered glass on the screen, I just like a little extra protection. All right, so we're all the way at the top. We can go back. Let's go check update. We can do a wireless network upgrade or a local upgrade. Um, local upgrade is going to be if you have USB. Uh, I am connected to Wi-Fi. I don't know how long that's going to take. But I will be doing that after this video is complete. Let's go to details. So I can bind with Creality Cloud directly. And that's where I'll be able to send files directly from Creality Cloud. Or even go in here and pick files directly from Creality Cloud and push print. And not even have to touch the computer. <clears throat> Other information, that's just going to be all the printer stuff. Hello One Plus, the current version I'm running, which is 2.202.28. Um, Hello Service at Creality, um, the website, creality.com, and their telephone number. And for other settings, we have language. We're going to have 14 different languages that Creality has offered. And we have custom skin, classic and colorful. This is gonna reset the system while it uh, upgrades the colorful. And we have dancing Kuva again. settings and we're back in custom skin and last thing is resetting which will reset your whole uh, back to factory <clears throat> so the last thing we have to do don't like don't like my touch let's pop in the USB So you've heard me say it a couple times throughout this video. I'm going to say it again. Another great thing. There we go. Look at that. We got some color in our options here. That Creality has done is say I want to print the hollow ball. So I'll tap on this. What it's doing is it's downloading the model from the USB to the printer. So when this is done... I can literally pull out this USB, start working on another file, and this file will still be in here. So I'll pull this out, 
quick OK. Well, and there it is. Ready to print. You can set up my settings. You have initial exposure, exposure time. So this will be your bottom layers. This will be the rest of the time printing. Your motor speed is how fast it comes up and down. You has your your turn off delay, which is how long it's gonna leave the light off for. So your resin can resettle and any air bubbles can come up. Um, resin, rising height, sorry about that, is set for six millimeters. So that's how high the build platform is gonna come up in between every layer. And we have bottom exposure layers. Um, right now it's set for two. And that's just how many times it's going to expose at 40 seconds, which is what that's set for. So I'm just gonna go back and go back again. Now I got my new file. I can pop this right in here. Then again, download the tower. That's ready to go. I can pull this USB out, click OK, click print, and there's my file. No need to have the USB hanging out, worry about hitting it, breaking it, all that good stuff anymore. And then also, like I mentioned earlier, you can pick a model directly from Creality Cloud. Now I do not have Creality Cloud bound or binded on here yet, but you can see it already pulled up some models. You can get a Cartoon Shark, uh, Noli Sun Eater, Kanok, Kanoko. I don't know how to say that one. And a Little Minions guy. Well, let's just click on this. And there we go. So it gives you some information here, model size, layers, uh, file size, and date of upload. And gives you some preview pictures. Very nice. And you can download that if you wanted to. Very, very interesting feature. Like I said, you don't even have to go to a computer or mobile device anymore to send your file. You can pick your file directly from here as long as you have it set up in Creality Cloud. And that covers everything to do with the Halo One Plus Minus some test prints which I'll save that for another video and my overall conclusion but so far for my initial thoughts you've heard me say it a couple times um, another thing I like uh, great thing about Creality and the Hell Outline um, you know that that's I can't say any anything really bad about it so far um, I did notice it didn't come with a a pair of uh, clippers which normally resin printers do but that's not not a big issue um, that's just a minor thing um, otherwise overall touchscreen very nice um, not sure why I'm having a little bit of response issues I'll have to see if I can calibrate the touch screen I didn't see an option in here to do that though um, maybe when I update that may change things a little bit let's see now it's responding so, otherwise so far this looks like a very nice printer they minimized and kept it as you know small as possible but provided you with the you know biggest amount of printing area in such a compact size um, can hold a decent amount of resin the 
7.9 4K mono screen. Very, very attractive printer. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting some test prints done on it. Uh, the only bad things that I've seen so far or have to mention would be, like I said, there's, there's no snips. Um, in your settings here, you know, when you're cleaning, you could have a couple options, a uh, timer or even um, something to display on the, the screen or even when you, during the startup, uh, it flashes, you know, something on the screen, whether it's Creality or Hallowed, uh, something like that, just to let you know that the screen is responding uh, and you're not just getting the UV lights shining through. Uh, that would be a nice little option also. Um, a couple other things. Uh, I mean, obviously, there's there's always room for improvements and wishes, but we won't get into that because that's exactly what it is, is wishes. Um, so, again, thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you learned something from it. And take care, everybody. Have fun making.